This is a typical, what's called a soft story building, where we have a, a large wall in the front. This large wall has a giant hole in it where the garage door is. So for bracing against side to side earthquake forces, this wall is very weak. It won't offer much resistance to earthquake forces that are acting on the second floor up there. So what we've done in this house is install a skinny brace that aligns with that second floor wall. So this is a, a loop for hoisting the, the steel column. So once we screw this to the wood framing up above, we're gonna be able to hook, uh, uh, come along right onto this loop and use it to hoist directly up into the, into the flooring um, above the garage. So this connects with structural screws to the wood framing and then a, a steel bracket on the top of the steel column connects to here. These long ones are going to support the weight of the steel column. Each one of these will support about 500 pounds before it pulls out of the wood and the column weighs about 400 pounds. And this loop is something that breaks out of the uh, specially cut plate. We have a steel hoisting loop that's connected to the structural framing up above here and we connected the come along the hoist for the uh, for raising the steel column into place We need to bend the, the tails of these so they'll be embedded in the center of the concrete so that they can't unravel um, when an earthquake comes and exerts a whole bunch of force on this.
So we have the, the reinforcing steel cage in the, the excavation now. The white bars here loop around the column and they are the main reinforcing steel for the foundation. These bars here are really the only use that they serve is to keep the prefabricated cage in, uh, in shape, uh, to hold its shape before we put it into the trench. So these unpainted bars are really not doing anything at this point. The red painted threaded rods extend through the base of the column and they, they secure the base so it won't break out of the end of the grade beam during an earthquake.